Dan and Annabella. I should call you Danabella. What do you think? All right, good. All right, it's some simplice. Here's what we're going to do. Eighth grade orientation video. We're just talking about our school's mission statement. Um, get comfortable with this. We'll throw it on the prompter. One take. We're out of here. Okay. Great. We're going to go about a school's mission statement, as I said. In oh, uh, excuse me. Oh. Hello, studio. Yes. Oh, hi, dude. Oh, it's here. That's been on back order since forever. Thanks so much. Okay. I'll be right there. Guys, I got to go uh, front office, a package that was in back order, a tripod. I've been waiting on forever. Just go over the prompter, put in your own words, whatever works for you, a mission statement, years here at Johnson. I'll be back in a flash. Our time here at Johnson. This time next year, we'll be hitting the books on campus. Well, most of us will be. If you had to re rewind three years, would you do it all over again? Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. I mean, between all the friends I've made and the lessons learned playing sports, there's just so many opportunities here at Johnson. Absolutely. Probably because of our great mission statement. What is that again? Focus. F is for future. Oh, future. Okay. That's why all I've right. been taking those AP classes. Mm, I've heard about the AP classes. Did they really help? How do they not? They're challenging me in and outside of the classroom, and all the credits I gain from those courses can be passed on to my college next year. I'm going to be teaching you a tool that I invented specifically for my public speaking students. This is a public speaking class. It's called English 128 at Union County College, and it's the third semester that I've been teaching it here at Arthur L. Johnson. It carries three academic credits. The students are learning how to present themselves to the public in an organized and appropriate fashion. The tool itself is called Terrific Specific. It's a pre-writing tool. They're learning how to package stuff they already know for oral presentation. They're also earning three academic transferable credits and they don't have the pressure of having to take an AP exam at the end. They are simply earning those credits in this case just as though they were commuting to one of the campuses of the college and taking the course there. DECA is a business organization uh, where students get to go to a, a competition and uh, do interviews and take a test uh, based on uh, marketing, business administration, and other parts of business. Then what's O? Opportunity. I don't know this. Johnson's full of opportunities. Is it? Are you kidding? All the trips we take to France, Italy. Oh yeah, forgot about those. Sports opportunities. Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Marson uh, and this is Graphic Design. There's actually many opportunities at ALJ that prepare students for college and careers. Graphic Design is one of those classes. In Graphic Design, students create projects uh, that are relevant to the real world. Like CD covers, magazine covers, and even road signs. Another opportunity is Graphic Design 2 and the advertising agency. Students get to work together collaboratively where they learn the business end of graphic design as well. These courses really help students with career opportunities in the future. Hi, my name is Madison Salaji and I'm the president of the International Thespian Society and this here is our mascot Thespis. He's a beta fish. Um, he's named after Thespis, the great Greek actor. God. That's basically who the entire Thespian Society is named after. So ITS is basically just a club for anyone who wants to have anything to do with drama, whether you want to help out with set, paint it and build it, or whether you want to audition and act, or even help out with the house. And we meet every, yes, every two weeks, and what we, we give the opportunity to kids to just expose themselves to new things and help them find themselves and just give them an opportunity to be on stage to be noticed to do anything. If you are an actor, an artist, a technical person, there is a spot for you in the International Thespian Society. Well, while doing drama here at ALJ, I have gotten to shows and through that I won an award at MSU for outstanding performance by a lead actor in a drama. And with that, it led me to getting a letter of recommendation from them for any college with a theater program. So you work lights or sound or you paint or build sets, so there's a place for everyone here. Um, it's open to everyone. You just have to build up a certain amount of hours to be considered um, an actual member, which is about like 100 hours. But if you're working on a show, it's very easy to accumulate those hours. We're here day in and day out. <laughs> what about C? Curtains? Character! <laughs> oh. Well, we do have a lot of that here. I mean, I, mean, I painted my face blue 
for the game. We're just full of Johnson pride. I mean, it's all pride in Johnson. And we do so much. We have peer leaders that help. We have a Crusader Leadership yeah. Program. Today we have our Crusader Athletic Leadership Council here. It's a group organized from various members from all our sports teams at Johnson High School. And uh, we come over to the preschool every year on Read Across America Day and uh, read some of our favorite children's books to the classes. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Well, the athletes benefit by coming over here in a variety of ways. With the Leadership Council, they can put that on their college applications as community service. But more so than that, uh, we love the bond that it develops between our high school and the preschool. All these young children are going to eventually be crusaders, and we like to come over here and, uh, and foster that bond. My hat is old, my teeth are gold, and now my story is all told. Peer leadership is kind of guiding the incoming class of freshmen to adjust to their first year of high school and feel comfortable, and so they can really learn the high school setting. Today we are uh, giving the kids time management schedules, uh, talking to them about stress, um, talking about their teachers, their work, normal peer leadership stuff. I found valuable that I learned how to manage my time wisely and that it is really important to try your freshman year. It's important because I was in their shoes once and I was a scared little freshman and I know how they feel and us helping them makes them feel welcome here in the school. So. Out of helping the new freshmen um, I make new friends, I help new students, and then we get to help the, we get to help people, and there's, you know, only good things coming out of help people. So. <laughs> Let's not forget about the pep rallies. Oh, you, you, unity. That's wow. I'm, I'm getting this. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. Unity at the pep rallies, we all get together, we're cheering on, getting ready yeah. for our game. Especially the spring pep rally. Oh, God, Clash of the Classes, Love my it. favorite. Don't forget about the most important S. I don't know. Success. Oh, of course. We all have that here at Johnson. LJ prepares you for the future completely. Didn't one person go to a really good school last year, like Ivy League? Justin Becerra. Oh, yeah. He wasn't went to UPenn. Wasn't he the student council rep? Yeah, exactly. My position as the Student Board of Education representative uh, this year has given me the opportunity to uh, really become more involved in the school and community. ALJ Student Council Blood Drive will take place on Thursday, March 13th. Students will donate during physical education classes, and students 16 years or older can donate. I have to create a report uh, that I get from all the principals of the schools, and I put that into a, uh, an essay type format, and I deliver it to the community uh, through TV36, which is, it goes out to everyone in the community. Wow. And ALJ prepared him for all of that. Yeah, I heard and he's doing very well. And don't forget about Ken Ham. Oh yeah, wasn't he the guy who went up in space? Yeah, ALJ alumni. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing that we have someone from Johnson that has accomplished this. You know, there's a lot of awesome educators in here. Some of them I've had in class, Coach Shofi, uh, Mr. Pargallo. Uh, I'm sure there's some others around here too. Uh, the real work that's going on right now is in the classroom. We drove by the high school a little while ago and saw a full parking lot, so we know that all the educating is going on over there. So ALJ's TV program has helped me because in the future I would like to have a career that involves stuff both in front of and behind the camera. So the TV program has given me a chance to do both of those uh, things. That's always important. So it's helped me with the kind of career I want to pursue. Here's my f-stop. See this right here? Number two. See the numbers? Okay. That's my f-stop. Oh. oh, that's my f-stop. That's my brightness. It uh, opens me up to a whole new array of skills and techniques to use. Computer we with thought it fitting to take the time language. to remember an icon from the early days of television. Since Caesar passed away last week. 
Uh, I think that covers everything with the mission statement and all the offerings here at Johnson. Oh, wait, don't forget about the outstanding teachers, the electives that we have, athletic teams, clubs, and Johnson's emphasis on the student life. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, all right, well, that wraps it all up then. No, we still have one more thing to say. This, this is, is Crusader, Crusader Country. Country. Welcome, Welcome to ALJ. ALJ. I, found I found my focus, focus at ALJ. Welcome to ALJ. I found my focus at ALJ. Welcome to ALJ. Take art courses. We've got lots of them. Welcome to ALJ. Welcome, Welcome to ALJ. I found my focus at ALJ. Welcome to ALJ. I found my focus at ALJ. Welcome, Welcome to, to ALJ. ALJ. Woo! We found our focus at Johnson. <laughs> Welcome to ALJ. It's a wrap. Go Johnson.